welcome to room six of building number six of the annex of Carlton Hotel at King's Cross in London. I'm here for one night on a bed and breakfast rate in a double room and I've paid £74. Now I'm actually here alone and I'm leaving very early in the morning so I won't have time for breakfast so I'll not be able to show you any of that. But uh, let's have a look at what I get in the room. So obviously you can see it's a small room and it's immediately reminiscent of student halls of residence. And it's very warm, it's 28 degrees outside. As expected in the UK, you don't get air conditioning, it's rare, um, particularly in smaller independent hotels. But this is still done to a nice spec. Um, I'm just gonna put the fan on, because this will make a difference, hopefully. So there's no aircon, but at least there's a ceiling fan. And I can have the window open if I want to, but I am in what is technically a ground floor room. So, um, although that said, I am, facing inwards and not on the street and yeah I think that should be quite safe enough so let's go back and talk you through what I get so I'm upon entering the room just there the Wi-Fi code username and password is on the back of the door which is good immediately in front is a small uh, vanity unit with drawers and uh, a flat screen Alba TV, kettle, tea and coffee making facilities, mirror and chair, so all good. There's a radiator which is definitely not needed in summer. Um, another drawer unit and cupboard next to the bed and a double bed which is very low. I'm going to say that is an extremely low double bed. Um, and it's a small double bed so if there were two of you, you know, you would need to be up close and personal. Now in terms of plug sockets, yes. There are two plug sockets next to the bed, so that's good. So you can have your phone charging next to where you sleep. Set your alarm. And there are also plug sockets at the back of the vanity unit as well, which the kettle and TV are plugged into. You get a very single wardrobe. And there's a spare blanket at the top, not needed in summer. And hodgepodge of coat hangers. And then beneath that, there's my walking pole and bag. So I'm just in London for one night. I've literally arrived on Thursday afternoon. I've got to leave at five on the 5.55 a.m. train tomorrow morning uh, back to Leeds from King's Cross. This is a one minute walk from King's Cross station. So in terms of location for King's Cross, it's fantastic. And that is exactly what I wanted. So the bathroom, uh, the light comes on as soon as you open the door. The fan also comes on in there, the extractor. Hey, um, and there's the toilet and sink and a fully accessible shower. Now whilst this is a ground floor room and accessible in most senses, although there is a slight step there, it isn't entirely accessible because you have to go up a step to get into the building and then you have to go down a step and up another step to get to this room. So that's just something to bear in mind. If you do need a fully accessible room then you should request that at the time of booking. Um, other than that, there's not an awful lot more to say. I'm not going to be able to film breakfast. I'll try and get a few shots in the in the building and outside of the building. Uh, other points to note is uh, we are near King's Cross Station. There are a variety of interesting characters around. Uh, there were some of them asleep on the pavement outside. Um, I'm reliably informed by the very uh, good and friendly hotel receptionist that I shouldn't be worried about that. And uh, this does seem you know, pretty secure room to be honest. You've got to go through a locked door at the front and a locked door to get into the room and there is 24 hour reception. So all in all so far, first impressions are fairly decent to be honest. Um, you know, I, I knew I wasn't booking the Hilton and that's the key thing. Right, anyway, I'll be back uh, reporting back uh, a bit later on. Bye bye for now kiddies. So there's King's Cross Station over the road. And that's the hotel, that's how close it is. So if you're looking for closeness to King's Cross Station, this is a good hotel for that. I've got nothing else to say.